Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to yet another one of my creative videos. I'm just going to hop right into it. I'm using two of these four by five inch mirrors that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue them together. I'm wiping my mirrors off now because I won't be able to do it later and I'm going to cover the entire mirror with these gems. If you choose to recreate this, please use a stronger adhesive so your project can last over time. So now that this side is complete, I'm flipping it over to complete the same exact steps on the other side. And just like that, I have a set of beautiful bookends, which I absolutely love. This project was quick, simple, and super easy. Comment below and let me know what y'all think. For project number two, I'm basically creating a square with these gems. I did six by six and I'm using my ruler to make sure everything is as straight as possible. I'm adding just a small dab of glue so all the gems can be combined into one big piece. And now I'm just removing all the glue strings with a toothbrush. I positioned all three pieces and now I'm just adding my mirrors and then I'm going to add glue to combine everything and then I'm going to add craft sticks to make everything secure. I decided to cover up the craft sticks with these rectangular mirror tiles that I purchased from Amazon. And just like that, this is how my project turned out. I'm loving it. It's very unique. It was quick, easy, and super affordable. Comment below and let me know what y'all think. For project number three, I'm completing the same exact steps as I did for project number two. And just like that, I have a set of glamorous coasters, which I absolutely love. But comment below and let me know what y'all think. For this last project, I'm using this styrofoam piece that I got out of one of my packages. And I'm going to cover the entire piece with this black acrylic paint. I could have just used a foam board, but this piece was already the perfect size and shape that I needed. I'm covering just the very top and bottom end with these red gems. Y'all probably can't see these, but I already marked where I'm going to glue my mirror tiles. These are the tiles you can use if you want to use all Dollar Tree items. These mirror tiles are self-adhesive, but I'm adding a little glue so they can stick over time. And I'm using my ruler so my mirror tiles are aligned properly. So this is what I have so far. So now it's time to add my circle mirror tiles and I'll be completing the same exact steps on this side for the other side as well. I'm 
I'm using these gems to create all my letters. Now I'm just adding the glue, but I'm not gluing it to my styrofoam piece just yet. I didn't glue the letters down because all of those were the back sides. So the sides with the pointed ends is the back side. If you are going to recreate this, please take note. When you're gluing the L together, you have to glue it on the opposite side or else it will be backwards. I purchased these LED lights from Amazon a while back and I'm just going to glue them around the entire perimeter of my phone piece. I'm making sure I hold the wire into place until the glue dries. I'm using pieces of this electrical tape to secure the remaining of the LED lights that was left over. This welcome sign is very unique and glamorous and I'm loving how it turned out. Comment below and let me know which was your favorite project for this week. <laughs>